What's up guys? So I have a special video for you. This is going to be a three part video starting today. And basically I get a lot of inboxes, emails, DMs, messages of people saying, Hey Max, I haven't heard a lot of those brands that you're featuring on Synth Explore 2020. Can you please tell us your favorites from each brand? So in lieu of those questions, I wanted to clarify that this is going to be the favorites that I have picked out for myself to wear to give me an edge. So all six fragrances that I'm going to share with you today will most definitely give you an edge, whether you're a guy or gal, a man or woman, whatever you into it, one thing is for sure, these fragrances will certainly give you an edge. Let's do it. Welcome back to another fragrance video. I'm Max Forthy. Today, all about fragrances that will give you an edge. All fragrances here will be featured at Synth Explore 2020. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, don't delay because not only will I share them with you here today and within the next part two and part three, all fragrances that I love from brands that are featured on Synth Explore. But if you actually want to try these fragrances by registering, you will get a Synth Explore gift bag featuring all fragrances that I'm talking about here so you can actually experience them before the event itself or as the fragrance brands are actually taking center stage to talk about these fragrances. But without any further ado, let me tell you fragrances that will give you an edge starting off with this fragrance here from Amouage, which I'm sure by any way, shape, or form, you have heard about this fragrance. I've actually done a IGTV live with the creator of this fragrance. So if you want to learn more in depth about Amouage and the whole Renaissance collection, be sure to check out the IGTV um, program, which is still on Instagram. But this fragrance here, to me, when I first got the package from uh, the little samples that I got, this is the one that stood out for me because it captured the region, the Omani region of, of, of Oman to the T, guys. It has this incredible vetiver. You know how much I love vetiver, but it's not too earthy or too smoky. Quite the contrary, it's got this really orange slash um, fruity kind of a vibe to it. So it's it's got a little, a little of the smokiness from the frankincense, the silver frankincense that used here, along with the cipriol, along with the vetiver, which I love. It's got some earthiness, some smokiness, but nothing here is too abrupt or brash. It's done very um, enveloping and very... Um, enticing, very alluring, like Amouage does, still with the daring effect, still powerful and long-lasting, but in a very smooth, elegant, sophisticated way, meaning I'm here, you're going to um, notice me, but it's not going to be too pushy, if you know what I mean. A great fragrance, one that I've been wearing a lot, and it's got this creamy sandalwood at the bottom, just an incredible fragrance. If you love vetiver, this is a great take on the vetiver note, because to me, vetiver is one of my favorite notes, and this stuff here is just done to perfection, guys. The blend is just incredible. One last thing about this one, there's some pepper in here, as well as this nutty kind of a side to the fragrance given by Carrot Seed, which very unique, very uncanny, very particular to this fragrance. Not many fragrances out there will have that note of uh, Carrot Seed, as well as Oris Root which gives this buttery iris kind of a feel to the fragrance, especially from the heart into the dry down, which I'm going to tell you what this reminds me of. From the heart into the dry down, it is going to have nuance. It doesn't smell like it. I'm not saying it's a dupe of, but if you like fragrance like Dior Ohm or Affing Fabulous from Tom Ford, combine those two, kind of like what you have in the heart here, along with that vetiver, the frankincense. So needless to say, definitely will give you an edge. Speaking of under the radar or, you know, off the beaten path, this is a fragrance house called Precious Liquid, and the perfumer is Richard Arpon, which is actually the same nose, the perfumer of Tom Ford Private Blends, Patchouli Absolute, and Tom Ford Oud Wood, which I know a lot of people love out there. And the fragrance I'm talking about here is Vanilla Orchid. Now, when you look at the bottle, when you, when you, you know, look at the name, what comes to mind is this floral kind of a fragrance that has this vanilla kind of nuance. In a nutshell, yes, you have the vanilla, you have the orchid flower, which I love. Uh, think of Black Orchid from Tom Ford. The floral aspect here is not a pungent or too floral aspect that's going to make this very feminine. Like I said in the beginning, this whole list here is very unisex, very gender-free or whatever you want to call it. And this one here is no different. This has like a honey animalistic orchid kind of a vibe, almost boozy at the top. The vanilla benzoin, it's really giving this fragrance this resinous slash sweet kind of a bourbon uh, sort of a vibe. Just incredible, guys. Enveloping, alluring, 
sensual. This is a very, very seductive juice, one that you can definitely wear for romantic settings. Again, will give you an edge no matter what the situation or occasion is. Very romantic as well, guys, if you get my drift. This fragrance settles so beautifully on the skin. This has Mysore sandalwood at the base, which is the most expensive form of sandalwood you can possibly acquire, which gives this fragrance a very creamy and, like I said, sensual, seductive kind of a vibe, along with the vanilla, the benzoin, the orchid flower. And there is a fruity nuance to this fragrance, which also is fruity and a little bit earthy, which is given by the note of fig. So if you like figs, the vanilla and the orchid trifecta here is just uncanny, amazing, will definitely give you an edge. Next up, we have a fragrance that is getting a little bit of a limelight in the community. You know, people are talking about it. The company is going to be Wilhelm Parfumerie, which is a New York based fragrance, which now is well, it's a, you know, fragrances are produced in France. It's New York based, but the owner is actually Swedish. It's this triangle of New York, Sweden, slash Paris. But needless to say, amazing boxes. The fragrances are really good. There's one that's called Mango Something uh, that I can't wait to get because I have a sample of it. It smells amazing, so realistic to the mango fruit. But the fragrance I'm sharing with you today is going to be Morning Chess, which happens to be the one that is getting the most limelight right now. Now, this is my scent of the day today. And what today, today is actually in the 50s here in New York, which is not bad. And this is just an uplifting, bright introduction here. Very fruity, very uh, invigorating and refreshing. A lot of people compare this to Creed Aventus. Yes, there is that resemblance to Creed Aventus, but there's so much more to this fragrance. Number one is going to be more fruity than any uh, batch of Aventus you can find out there. There's definitely a very strong... Bergamot is the only note listed, but I do get the pineapple vibe, which is really fruity and juicy, mouth water and juicy. So very fruity, and there's a floral um, nuance in this fragrance, especially from the heart on, that you don't get with Aventus. So it is very similar to this Juggernaut of a fragrance, one of the most popular in the niche fragrance world, but this one here does its own thing, and it is long lasting as well. The opening is just breathtaking, like I said, very fruity very uplifting and invigorating. Then you get these floral components. And, and the nose behind this one is Jerome Pinet, which we all know is a great nose. And he did a fantastic job with this one. I would describe uh, Morning Chast as fresh, green, and earthy. But there is that suede leather kind of effect in this fragrance that just envelops the fragrance and gives it a depth, uh, a more uh, stronger of a character than a fresh she would give. So there's, there's a lot more to the scent that meets the eye. Don't uh, be discouraged by the fact that a lot of people say this reminds them of Aventus. Yes, the resemblance is there. It's very similar, but the fragrance does its own thing. There's these little twists and turns that really makes this fragrance a standout fragrance. Let's get to the next one. Speaking of limelight, this is a fragrance here from the house of Memo Paris, which I love the box, which is this beautiful leather stitched box. And it's one of my favorite leather uh, base fragrance houses. They do an outstanding job when it comes to the note of leather. Many different nuances, many different turns and twists. African leather, which happens to be my favorite, uh, and many other ones from this house, but really focusing amazingly in the note of leather. But one that's getting quite a bit of a talk now and for a reason is this beautiful new release, which is Sintra, which is an eau de parfum composition. I love the tile-like you know, texture that you have here in the bottle, which reminds me of something like you would see in the buildings of Istanbul or something like that. Love the presentation. The sprayers are really good in here. Really nice blast, nice distribution. And the scent itself is divine. I have to be honest with you, this leans a little bit more in the feminine side of things. However, I wear this myself, and here's why. It's going to have a very floral and berry-like opening. You have strawberries, you have neroli, which gives this you know fruity orangey kind of a vibe along with those beautiful pink berry slash strawberries. And there's like this tuberose um, kind of a feel that I get with this fragrance. Almost gives off like an almond kind of a vibe. It's a little bit nutty as well. Combining caramel and cinnamon, which also gives this a little bit of a almost gourmand feel to the fragrance. So the beginning, the floral berry blast is going to be perhaps a little more feminine. But as the fragrance develops into the heart, you get this nutty, creamy, caramel, nutty kind of effect. With the cinnamon, there's a ton of cinnamon here, and I love cinnamon, so great for the fall season that we have going on right now. And at the base, you have this creamy patchouli slash cedar note, which is really woodsy and very inviting. So if you're familiar with Patito Dali from Profumum Roma or Sweet Redemption from, you know, Killian Paris, you're going to love this fragrance because it combines elements from both scents. So it's like you, you combine those two fragrances, and this is their offspring. So needless to say, amazing. My wife loves this stuff. 
I like it on me from the dry down, uh, from the hard into the dry down, but my wife loves this from beginning to end. And I know ladies out there, all half dozen of you watching this video, I know you're gonna love this and without a shadow of a doubt, this will give you an edge, trust me. Speaking of off the beaten path, under the radar brands and fragrances, I'm gonna share one with you here that will blow your mind for sure, especially if you try it on skin. I'm talking about a British brand called Electimus, which by the way, the box is just unbelievably good. And if you guys like Bodicea, you're gonna love this brand, guys. And I'm talking about the scent Electimus and it's black caviar. I mean, the bottles themselves, is just a work of art, heavy. If you thought Parfums de Marley was heavy, think again, guys. This stuff here probably weighs like, I don't know, five pounds or more. It is very heavy. The cap, very, very thick metal. The glass itself has an incredible thick base. Just beautiful. The sprayers are very, very nice. Look at that. Beautiful mist, and you can't control depending on how hard you spray or not. It'll give you more or less. Oh my God, and Black Caviar is just heavenly, guys. We're talking about one of the most expensive, uh, you know, delicacies, the Black Caviar. If you guys ever ate caviar, I have never eaten caviar, but I know it's very expensive. Black Caviar here, I have eaten caviar, I'm joking with you guys. But Black Caviar is the most expensive form of caviar. I don't think I've ever had Black Caviar. But at any given rate, it combines the Black Caviar with a fruity nuance and a powdery lavender has a very aromatic exotic kind of a scent i absolutely am enamored with this fragrance it gave me a lot of compliments people were wanting to know what i was wearing it's it's got this very unique vibe to the fragrance i've never smelled this type of a fragrance there's this berry uh, fruity caviar now when you think caviar you might think of a fishy odor or aroma there's no fishy odor here at all it's going to be like i said very intriguing very exotic very uh, you know mysterious smell that's powdery fruity and extremely inviting. Like people will ask you, what is that smell? You know, what are you wearing? In a good way, because it's going to be very um, powerful, but at the same time, very alluring. It's gonna, it's gonna bring people in. People are gonna want to smell more and more. It's like intoxicating, if you will. The more you try this, the more you smell it, the more you're gonna keep going back for it. At the base, you know, besides the fruitiness that I talked about, this beautiful lavender, you also have patchouli and vetiver that will give this fragrance an edge. And I believe there's other notes not listed here that are very unique to this composition. Needless to say, this is the most intriguing slash unique fragrance in all of the fragrances that I'll be sharing with you today. So if you're somebody out there who really loves to smell unique and edgy, Definitely check this one out, guys. It'll definitely give you an edge. Speaking of edgy fragrances, guys, behold, this is a fragrance that I'm completely enamored with. I've been wearing it a lot. You guys probably see my lives on Instagram, and it's been like my set of the day for many days now. And it's from a house of Fragrance Dubois, which you guys know it's getting a lot of limelight. Needless to say, presentation is just one of the, the best presentations in the game. And the fragrance I'm talking about is going to be celebrating my beautiful city of New York, and it's going to be New York Intense. Now, what do we get from New York Intense, you may ask? From a name like this, you think about the city, you think about the, the melting pot that is New York City. I'll tell you right now, guys, this stuff, oh, it's so good. So this stuff right here, guys, combines a smoky oud effect along with orange, with berries, like blackberry, I think, is, is in the top notes. What I get out of this fragrance, guys, just to make your life easy, if you love Jubilation 25 from Amouage and you love Oud for Greatness from Initia Parfums, enough said guys, this stuff is fire. Perfumer Pierre Constantin Garros has nailed this fragrance, guys. We're talking about orange, a berry-like opening, smoky Oud facet, spices, rose, vanilla, and Immortel. I just love Immortel in my fragrances. It has this very intoxicating vibe to it. And this stuff here is just that, guys. It's an intoxicating fragrance. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think Fragrance de Bois combines the tradition and classy element that you find with Roja Parfums combined with the daring and mysterious, um, you know, facets that you find with Tom Ford Private Blend. So it's like this particular house mixes both, you know, the best of both worlds to make this outstanding fragrance brand, guys. I urge you not only to try this fragrance, which for, for, without a shadow of a doubt for sure will give you an edge, but really trying other fragrances from this line. I believe they're coming up with a, with a set. You know, you, I think I already have a set, in fact, that you can get from the different collections. This is definitely my favorite right now. I'm rocking this fragrance like crazy. You don't need more than like two to three sprays. It is beast. And I'm gonna tell you right now again, this is fire, guys. 
any of these six fragrances will give you an edge. If you like this video, stay tuned for part two and part three because I will continue to share my favorites from all brands featured at Scent Explore. And of course, if you haven't yet, guys, guarantee your spot at Scent Explore 2020. It is happening this December 5th. 2020 from 1 p.m. Eastern until 11 p.m., 10, 30, 11 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a live event, guys. We're going to have people from the community performing some special, you know, numbers for you guys, musical numbers, you know, 18 plus brands sharing their fragrances with you guys. But not only the fragrances featured here, because these are just my favorite, all of their fragrances, their whole portfolio. And of course, you'll get a gift bag if you register now. There's only a couple hundred bags left. So I would urge you, if you want to secure a bag, do that. Don't wait for last minute. We do have a cap. There's only a few thousand people that can watch it live. Once we reach that cap, it's going to be sold out and you won't be able to join uh, the event. So don't delay, guys. All the information linked below. Of course, you're going to hear me talking about the event and other great content creators that will also be a part of the panel. We have Cecil Zerokin as a perfumer, among other great perfumers. Uh, Mackenzie Riley will also be in that discussion panel. So guys, don't delay. Get your ticket. Join us for a great day of niche fragrance experience. One last thing, there will be special discounts at the event from all 18 plus brands as well as giveaways. We're talking about tons of giveaways from all the brands that will be, you know, holding at, but all the discounts, all the savings, all the giveaways, only live at the event. So if you want to take part in any of this, you have to be joined in live, registered so that you can take part in all the giveaways and all the savings and everything else in between. And of course, I'm going to do one better for you guys. I will do a giveaway just to show you guys how much I love you. I will do five ticket giveaways. All you have to do is comment below which one of these fragrances sound most interesting and appealing to you and that you'd love to try. And also in that comment, I want you to put down Scent Explore 2020. I will randomly pick and select five lucky winners to get a free admission full admission to Scent Explore 2020. And I will contact you in the comments, so be sure to get back to me as soon as possible so that I can get your ticket information so you can join us uh, for this great evening of fragrance sharing. As always, remember, if you enjoy what I do here, please don't forget to share me your support. Leave me a like, touch the little subscriber button, hit the little bell icon so I can keep you in the know of all things fragrance. As always, fragrance is emotion emotions, so wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care. See you at Scent Explore.